Welcome back guys, Mark here, and we're actually going to do a lesson on using mouse, the mouse control. So um, we're going to add mouse movements to our program, and we're actually using the lesson 12 source code. So if you guys still have that, you've saved it, you've done the lesson, that's what I'm using. And what I've added, is, added to this is a sounds folder. And in this sounds folder, I added two wave files, a gunshot.wave and a lever action.wave. So that's what we're going to use for our sounds. And let's go ahead, and if you remember the framework, level, or level 12, lesson 12 was all about our framework. We actually have broken this out in a nice organized fashion. So what we want to do is underneath our gaming world window where we open that main window we want to add three more basically scans or three more um, checks basically while our program is running we're going to look for mouse movement we're going to look for the left button down or the right mouse button down so to do this we're going to use the handle to our window and we're going to say when and we're going to say mouse move. So when the mouse moves, we want to look for this branch label and it's going to be mouse dot move. So we want to use the handle to our window once again, gaming world. And now we're going to say when left button down. We're actually looking for this branch label, which is left mouse dot click. You guys see, I like to run with the theme here. Then we're going to do the same thing for the right mouse button. Gaming world. When right button down. This will be right mouse dot click once I spell tonight here this to be a theme lately there we go so those are our three new checks so we're checking for if the mouse is moving we're checking for a left mouse click or a right mouse click now let's follow our theme of staying neat and tidy here so underneath where let's see we're checking virtual keys it's the move arrow. Where do we want to put this? So here's our regular keyboard. So let's put it right here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to copy that so I can do some nice pasting here. And let's go ahead and rename this to check for mouse input. There we go. So our first branch label is we're adding mouse dot move. So whenever the mouse is moving, when the mouse is moving, we actually want to scan. And this is, we're actually going to make a reticle or a crosshair and we're going to move it around the screen. So we want to use the scan command so it moves nicely. And then we'll just have this wait for now. And we'll do the rest of our our sprite stuff here in a minute. So our other branch of the label was left mouse dot click. We'll have this wait for now. And then we had right mouse dot click. Boy, I tell you, spelling's hard tonight, jeez. And then we'll have this weight as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now, those are all our mouse commands. So if we were to go ahead and run this, everything still moves. I left click, right click. We can see everything's still working. It's perfect. So let's go ahead and make a, a reticle for our mouse dot move. Um, I've already added the sprite. So if you guys remember my lesson on sprites, it's already been added. So we have this nice little load sprites function. There's subroutine, so let's go ahead and add it in here. So load BMP. 
Just call it CH crosshair. Perfect, right? Actually, let's call it cross H. There we go. And then sprites backslash cross hair. Tell you, spelling's gonna get me tonight. BMP. So now we're loading it, and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just add it to the screen. We'll draw it to the screen here. So gaming world add sprite. Yeah, I got a little bit of a cold here, but so we'll call it cross H, cross H. Then we'll just we'll set the X Y of it for right now, even though it's going to jump to wherever the mouse is. Gaming world. Let's see. Say sprite X Y cross H and let's do mouse X these are variables for the mouse I didn't create these these are already built in for mouse X and mouse Y now if we run this there you go you see our crosshairs up here it doesn't move it stays drawn to this position that's where the mouse started and so we're not scanning with our program what we want to do is where we added the mouse scan this is where we want to add our new section of code and our new section of code is really really simple it's nice how easy it's going to be you guys will be shocked trust me so we're going to add gaming world Right, you guys have used to the handle to our window for quite a while now. And basically we're gonna say sprite X oh not C Y X Y cross H. Since we're scanning, we're gonna say mouse X, and we're actually going to move this so that the mouse isn't right on top of the crosshair. I think this looks better. And then we'll say mouse Y, same thing, minus 25. So now if we run this, you guys can see our crosshair now follows my mouse. Now I have it basically the mouse on it in the lower right hand corner. It was on the upper left hand corner before um, I don't have it set up now, but I might see if there's a way we can call a DLL to hide the cursor and just have it moving around as a crosshair so we can shoot. But right now it doesn't do anything cool. So let's add a little bit more to this. So I talked about that I added sounds to this folder. So let's add sounds to our left and mouse click. This is gonna be real simple. I already showed you guys how to play wave file. So we're gonna say play wave. Then it's in the sounds folder. And the first one we wanna play is gunshot WAV. And then we wanna go ahead and async. So when we left mouse click, so let's go ahead and make a gunshot. When we right mouse click, let's reload the gun. So play wave sounds backslash lever action sound dot wave. And now this is an uppercase S that does make a difference. There we go. Um, one thing we want to add in right in our gaming world dot quit, we have the play wave. So here we can already clear the play wave. So make sure you have this, that way the gun sounds will stop in the end, we can unload any sounds. So right here, Game World Out Quit, play wave, double quotes. So if I go ahead and run this now, you guys can see that we're shooting, and if I right click, reloads. So 
So I think it works pretty good. So I know it's not a long lesson, but I hope you guys liked it. I hope it gets you introduced to the mouse. We can do a lot of different things, but it's a good introduction to using the mouse. Um, we'll do some other lessons and build some stuff with the mouse as time goes on. But if you guys liked the episode, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.